This video is about how to fix the gear on an X-Acto pencil sharpener. I was sharpening my pencil and the gear came off of the track and it wouldn't uh, go around. The motor's still good, but it just wouldn't go around. So, uh, I've already fixed it, but I'm going to show you what I did. You take this off, the shaving tray, and then there's... Uh, there's two screws right here. I already took one out. I'm going to take the other one out. Okay. And there's a screw that goes in the bottom here that I've already taken out. See? right there. Okay, then you take the top off. Set it aside. Okay, now what you're going to do is go ahead and unplug it. Well, let me show you first. Okay, there is a safe, there's two safety switches on here. There's one right here that this part goes into, this plastic part, when this slides on and there's a safety switch in here you can push up see you can push up on them right there there's one if i take this pencil out see it won't work okay but i just broke the tip on there so you can see right now that it, all the shavings are coming out down here it works perfectly fine well that's because i fixed it so now what you're going to do is you're going to unplug it and I guess I can take this out and then you just pull this out okay then um, I'm not sure what size it is but you're gonna need one of these okay and it's it's a standard size that's used for most things whatever size that is I don't remember oh it's right here it's, uh, Seven, seven, seven L. I guess I don't know. I never heard of that. Anyway, just get one that fits. Kind of hard. I mean, this is on the wrong end. Still hard to do anyway. Just keep working on it till you get it. Anyway, you take this back part off. This back thing right here. Actually, yeah, you gotta take both off because they're connected right here. Okay, now, the gear, the problem was right here, I don't know if you can see it, this right here, this, this gear, it wasn't connecting to the wheel, right here, the, the big round wheel, and so the two couldn't go around together like that, so, uh, I don't know why they made it like this but they did so you just pull that off this comes out and uh, what had happened was just take this off this right here Okay, and I just, I just found this, 
and my tools and stuff. It's it's just a washer with a nut connected. It's really actually I think I found this on the ground one day when I was walking. I thought it was an interesting uh, washer with a nut connected. But anyway, you can just use a nut and a washer that fit on here. That's what I did. There's nothing in here the way they made it. And so when it was on here like this, what had happened was this piece slid all the way back like that. It didn't stay on the ridged area and the wheel was making contact right here. You see? Right here. Instead of here. It should be in the middle of this. And so I put it all back together and as soon as I put my pencil sharpener in there, this pushed back again. And I think because it has some kind of a it has some kind of a a mark right here. It looks like it's a break, but it's not. It expands and contracts. So uh, I don't understand why. I'll show you. It will not work. It has to have that washer and that nut in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. See right there? You see, there's that gear and there's this gear right here. Right? And see, it's on there now, but there, it comes out. But it wouldn't come out if this back piece was on here. But in any case, it still slips back when you use the pencil sharpener. I don't want to screw those screws back in there. I can hold it with my hand like that. Okay, now, so as you can see, it works. Okay. that there and I don't know if you can see it on the video but not like that. There. See, it slipped. It slipped back. As soon as you push that pencil in, it slips back. Can you see that? Let me unplug it. See, it slipped back. Now, the gear is on this side of it, and the other gear, the other one down there, is on this side. And they're not even making contact. See? They're not even, it's not even turning the one on the bottom. So, just take it out. See it right there? See the space in there? So, just take it out. See, even if it gets snug, it'll slip back out. So just take it out and I put it on this way, the nut on the inside and then on that, that way this is flush with this flush piece right there. Just slide this back on. Put it back in here. Back together. Make sure you get all your wires out of the way.
much it's just easier to do it like that. Okay. back on. Sometimes it's just easier to take this thing off of here and then put it back on. Kind of awkward to handle this thing for these two screws. Okay, now, see? There. Can you see that? The gear right there. See it turning it? There. It's working now. And there's there's the washer that I put in there. Now it'll keep it from slipping. So then just slip this back into the place where it goes, move all your wires out of the way, put this one back in its designated place, okay, and let's test it to make sure, oh, i got to plug it in. Actually, I could probably put another uh, washer in there. I wonder if I should. Oh, well, it works good enough for right now for the purpose of this video. So then you just put the thing back together. I'm going to put this one here first. Yeah. Okay. Put the screw back in there. And then these two screws.
the exacto pencil sharpener and we'll just do this one this isn't uh, hasn't been sharpened yet it just has a little bit on there and that's how far it got before you see that right there that's how far it got before it slipped back because this was a brand new squared off at the end pencil sharp or pencil I don't have another one to show you but you know what a brand new pencil looks like but it got that far before it pencil sharpened or before it quit working it slipped back so I like my There. Look at that. That's how you fix a gear in an exacto pencil sharpener. I just bought this too. I bought this like two years ago. So this is model 19XXCN. So. I didn't have to buy another one. Cool.